I'm quite sure I'm not alone when I say I do love garlic and literally any dish made with garlic. But is there a limit for that? Does it ruin the flavor of a dish and become too much beyond a certain point? Today I'll make some fried rice with three different levels of garlic addition to it and we're gonna find out together. So let's roll! Okay, I know it might be subjective, but I try my best so I go excessive. My plan is the following. I make three fried rices exactly the same way, with an exception of the garlic addition. Each one of these are going to be a personal size meal for one person. I will add one clove of garlic for the first one, then five cloves for the second, and then a whole garlic bar for the third one. That sounds crazy, I know, and I would make a fried rice with only one or maybe two cloves of garlic for that portion normally, but hey, I never tried this before, so it might be delicious. Or maybe terrible. I don't know yet, but it's time to try. I make a super easy basic fried rice. And for that of course I need to cook the rice first. If you're looking for the perfectly cooked rice recipe you can find the link in my description down below. For a personal size meal I measure half cup or 90 grams of uncooked rice. Ok so I start with the garlic because I have a lot of it. It's really easy to peel and chop it, you just need to smash the cloves with the side of your knife like this. Then the peel comes off almost instantly. When I have all my garlic spilled, it's time to chop it, and I do the same thing again. Smash it with one powerful movement, and start to slice them, and then just try to push the side of your knife into the chopped garlic, therefore it becomes more paste-like. Just be careful always when you use a sharp knife like this. Once I was ready with that, I can start to make the fried rice. And for that I grab my skillet and add 2 tablespoons of any high heat resistant vegetable oil, and the finely chopped or grated garlic. It's really important to start the cooking process with the room temperature oil, otherwise your garlic bits would burn immediately. After it just slightly changes its color, it's time to throw in one beaten egg and scramble it. About a minute later I add the cooked rice as well and mix everything thoroughly. Like, yeah, I literally smashed the ingredients with my kitchen spoon, I don't wanna leave any clumps in there. Then I season the whole thing with 2 tablespoons of light soy sauce, a few drops of roasted sesame oil, and mix it together and add one roughly chopped spring onion to it. And yeah, the spring onion doesn't need to be cooked, so turn off the gas right away and that's it. And I said before I make the whole process again, but I add 5 cloves of garlic to it this time. And guys, I can say already, this one is more fragrant, the whole kitchen smells like garlic and it's amazing. But it's time to add the eggs and the rice, and stir it, mix it, season it and here comes the third one. Ok, I know I'm cooking for you, but there are a few quite interesting facts about garlic. So did you know that, that throughout history the main use of garlic was for its medicinal properties? Yeah, they knew something already in the past. And garlic can also improve bone health. Yes, it's healthy. Garlic is packed with nutrients and has a very few calories, so it's good for you and keep you in shape, only 4.5 calories per clove. Garlic can reduce blood pressure as well and so on, so in my opinion this one is a superfood. So despite the fact that your mouth may stink after you eat too much of it, this is something truly healthy and delicious. Ok, but meanwhile I finished with the third one as well, and the whole kitchen smells like garlic again. And I'm hungry, so here you go. Alright everybody, you can see the three different fried rices over here. This one is the first, I used one garlic clove in this. That's over here is the one I made with five cloves of garlic. And this one is the crazy one with the whole garlic bulb in it. They all look like the same for me, so let's dig in. Start with the first one. For this I used one clove of garlic only. And I tell you, I really like the texture. It's a little bit sticky but nice and soft at the same time. But the important part is the taste, so I give it a try. And yeah. It's like fried rice, probably because it is, but I mean I can feel the Asian vibe in it with the soy sauce, the sesame oil and also the garlic. It's nice, rounded and flavorful. It has a fragrance from the spring onion and the garlic. Yeah, it's a good one I think. I would eat this anytime. So I move on and have a look on the second one. For this I use 5 cloves of garlic and I tell you, I can smell it immediately. The texture is the same, but I'm gonna taste this bad boy. And wow! I expect the garlic to be much, much more powerful, but it's not. I mean, it's definitely more garlicky than the previous one, but it still has a nice Asian flavor kicking it. 
I tell you, if you like garlic, you may consider to use 5 cloves in a portion of food, cause it's really enjoyable. It has a mild taste and cooperates with other ingredients really well, however I can feel the garlic as well separately in every bite I eat. That's a good one, so for me it's still not too much garlic. I would eat the first and the second one anytime, but I move on cause I wanna know and find the limit. And this is the third one with a whole bulb of garlic, and there was like 12 or 13 cloves in it. Man, I wouldn't use this much of it in any other circumstances, but hey, let's check it out. Okay, it has the same texture, but it smells aggressively garlicky. I cannot smell the typical fried rice character in there, only the garlic. And guys, I like garlic, but to be honest, I wouldn't eat it on its own. And this thing over here reminds me of that, but I give it a taste. And that's surprising again, cause I expect it has no other flavor in there, only garlic, but there is. The flavor is similar to the second one, so I can still feel the fried rice behind the garlic. And that is surprising, cause come on, there is a huge difference. One, and five, and a whole. I would say this one is not bad. Despite the fact it's well cooked, it has that raw garlicky flavor in there. But hey, it has a whole bulb of garlic in this portion. So yeah, it was my limit for sure, because you know, it's still flavorful and enjoyable, but the smell destroys the fried rice experience overall. But guys, if you love garlic, you can try this one at home, you won't regret, it also has a nice flavor. Or if you prefer something more mild and ordinary, you can make this or this anytime. It doesn't matter which one, you won't be disappointed. And if you ask me, I would go with the golden mean. I really like that one, but to be honest, there wasn't a huge difference in the flavor of all of those. So I could mix all three together and that would be also pleasant and satisfying, I guess. And you know what? That's exactly what I will do now. But for you guys, I recommend to use up to 5 cloves of garlic in one portion of food. So try the second one I made today. You won't regret.